Hello comic lovers, before we get started with this episode, if you could just hit the subscribe button, it sure would mean a lot to me. Okay, with that out of the way, let's begin with The Incredible Hulk, issue number 315, published by Marvel, titled Freedom. The verdant colossus hammers the surface of the concrete square block, trapped literally between a rock and a hard place. Banner is seen on the other side of the block barricading the Hawk in. The Emerald Rage tells Doctor that he may be closed in, but Bruce is closed in with him. There is no one without the other. Banner forms a rebuttal to the comet, but before he is finished, the steel barricade splinters to shards from the force of one of Hawk's blows, effectively releasing the Jade Giant from his prison. Hawk throws a punch at Banner and misses, creating an aperture in the wall behind him. Quickly, the doctor climbs the narrow opening, but the Hawk is right behind him. With a leap to the surface, he lands on his prey, but with a blink of an eye, Bruce is gone, but reappears off into the distance. Quickly, the Hawk sprints towards him, but his quarry fades out and reappears always further and further away until the Hawk gives up in frustration of ever destroying his jailer and setting himself free. In reality, we learn the scene that had just taken place was all a dream. The two personalities are unconscious, submerged in a nutrient bath by Dr. Leonard Sampson's making. Eight weeks have gone by since their last encounter, and in that time, the good doctor has sent up a new lab on the very site that gave birth to the Jade Crossing. He explains to the news anchor that the bath is designed to sift out the molecular cells in the Hulk's body that is uniquely banners, effectively separating the two. With the lab workers retrieving the body from the tank, they check to make sure all the vitals are stable. Then with orders from Samson, they place it under the electric cephalogram to measure the brain's activities, all while the body of the Hulk lays floating back in the tank. While discussing the next step, Clay Quartermain from S.H.I.E.L.D. interrupts them, telling Samson that he will be commandeering the project from here on out. The doctor tells Clay that he was granted full authority over the project. The S.H.I.E.L.D. agent divulges simply that he was lied to. Now that the two specimens are separated, his services are no longer needed. The news anchor, anxious to air her story, tries to leave, but Clay explains she can't. This is a top secret project. He must detain her for the time being. Needless to say, she is unhappy but acquiesces to his demands. Sometimes later, the news team discusses their situation in their cell when Letter comes to the door. He informs Diane that Bruce is still in a coma. His body will be transported to La Paloma Medical Facility in town to be cared for by a doctor who specializes in things of this nature. As for the Hawk, he is being transported to a top secret location where he'll be disposed of for good. Samson confesses over the moral quandary he is in. He vacillates over the idea of killing the Hulk. He knows it would be for the world's good, but killing a helpless being is just not in his nature. He is a doctor after all. Finally, Samson tells Diane he is going to break the Hulk out of the military's custody. An hour or so goes by, and Clay and a field agent visit the doctor's quarters, only to find out that the doctor is out. Meanwhile, en route, four helicopters chaperone a neuro-neutralized, subdued hawk to an unknown destination. Unbeknownst to them, the good doctor lays in wait under the road ahead. At the precise moment, he grabs a hold of the underside of the truck and begins his own style. While being dragged along, he rips through the truck hull and enters the vehicle. Quickly, he reverses the neutralizer's signal effectively stimulating the J. Goliath's brain waves. He then checks for the onboard personnel. Not finding any, he sets in action the means of the escape. Suddenly the truck veers off the road, flipping over into a ravine until settling at the bottom with a ear pop and explode. Slowly the green Goliath stirs from the fire and stands defiant to the hovering military choppers. 
without giving them a chance to think, the hawk grabs a piece of the truck hawk and tosses it up at one of the steel birds, effectively smashing it into the ball of flame. Another chopper fires upon the hawk and pays the price of getting too close to the living wrecking ball. The remaining two choppers give chase as Samson emerges from the debris of his mistake, promising vindication by killing the hawk himself. Meanwhile, at La Paloma Medical Facility, an apprehensive woman approaches the front desk, asking to see the patient by the name of Bruce Banner. The name she gives herself, Betty Ross. Will Bruce come out of the coma with all his faculties? Can Doc Samson stop the hawk? Make sure you like this video and hit that bell icon so you're notified when the next video drops. And if you can, please read this issue yourself. But because of time restraints, I could not show every panel, therefore showing the story in its entirety. Until next time, keep reading.